numbers, their own number plates, and different color paint jobs, different rims. Morgan right there on the 10. Starting second is Kinsey Looker, the 17. That's Andrew Looker's wife. She's ready to go. She's already got the biking gear. She's ready to go. Starting third, the 08, Zaria Martin. She's from Germantown, Wisconsin. Shasta LaRue right here on the 67. Look at the font on the 67. That, that's my favorite part of her right there. Row number two is the 81, McKenna Hyatt, the 156, Morgan Pillar. This is her first race with us in American Flat Track. The 800, Anna Banana Serena. She's from Miami, Florida. 182, Justine Marsh. Row three is the 15 of Mia Reese and the 07, Mariah Hummer from Fort Collins, Colorado. Main event number one. Royal Enfield Build Train Race Program. Here we go, eight laps the distance. Here comes the fast ladies. 10 second board is up. Getting ready for their first race of the 2023 season. Build Train Race. Royal Enfield Classic event. Here we go, Luker with a huge wheelie off the line. And that's going to let Morgan Monroe go right to the front. Zaria Martin slides into second on the 08. Here comes Kinsey back on the 17. She goes to the high line. Now she's up to third after that front wheel came straight up in the air. Boy, and it went sky high too, Scotty. Well, I think she was anxious. She's ready to go. It's her first race with us. Well, I was telling you earlier, I was talking to a lot of these ladies back in the paddock area earlier. As you see Luca way up high. And they were, there was a lot of nerves, a lot of anxious energy flowing through the Royal Enfield pit area. Well... Looking forward to that first race of the year. Well, think about it, Ralph. This is totally different than anything they've ever done. They're oh, yeah. in front of the big stage, the big crowd. The big teams are all here. Everybody, it feels like they're all just looking at you. Oh, yeah. Morgan Monroe doing what she does best. See, she's leading this one. She's out front on the 10 bike by about half a second. The 17 going to work on the high line looking for second place. That is Kenzie Luker. Well, she's charging, Kenzie is. And she's closing in on, closing in on Zaria Martins on that 08. I think she's learned from her husband, Andrew, that, that line. Go in low in one, let the thing drift, carry the momentum. It's hard for these bikes to, they don't have the, the big horsepower to really grab yeah. a handful off the corner. So you got to keep the momentum, run the outside, run the high line. It's working for the 17. She's it caught sure up to is. Zaria. Here she comes for second, right alongside of Zaria. She's got her going into the corner. She's got the same checkered flag on the bottom of the leathers, just like her husband does. Morgan Rowe still in the lead. She's trying to break away from everybody else, but here comes the 17. Can she track down the leader? Now, all these riders have to utilize basically the bike as it's handed to them. You can't go in there and modify with go fast parts or change certain pieces. They all run the whole lean suspension and so forth like that. They can do some modifications to the bike as they want to desire wise it's more for comfort and feel and looks and, and look yep. so you can run a bigger tank or a smaller tank you can shorten the bars change the bars that sort of thing some everybody's running different things with their foot pegs that sort of deal but the basics of the motorcycle are all the same and they can go out and get their own sponsorship to help yep. them out if they want to as well morgan moreau still in the lead looks like some lap traffic might be just ahead Am I seeing things? Nope, there are the yeah. back markers. Good battle for second place. Here comes Zaria Martin. She's a very young rider from Wisconsin. I believe she's only 18 years old, and she's caught right back up to Kinsey Luker on the 11. We'll see if the lap traffic is a factor. Morgan Moreau gets there first. She goes around the 15. Here comes second and third place. Boy, it's getting thick in there. They made it by. Pick your way through cleanly. And that's a challenge again because, as you said, a lot of these ladies doing this for the first time, certainly at speed with others on the track, not used to traffic coming through like that. Uh, and sometimes it'll, your spook, line. it'll spook a rider and you'll set up and do, do, do things that you're not normally used to doing. So it is a kind of a scary situation when that blue yeah. flag comes out as the white, white flag, flag is out. One more to go. Monroe, Luker, Martins battling for the win here. First round of the Royal Enfield Build Train Race Program. Luker gets a little wide. Zach can open the door for Martins on the bottom. Here she comes. Tucks back into third. Last corner for the 10. Here Morgan she comes. Morgan Monroe off of turn number four. First checkered flag of the 2023 season for Bill Train Race goes to Morgan Monroe. She's fist pumping. She's excited. Kenzie Luker holds on for second, and Zarya Martins will round out the podium here tonight. Her mom was here earlier. She said there were tears coming down her face when Morgan went out there and won her heat race. I can't imagine what's going on oh, right she's now. She's balling right now for sure. Definitely. What a great night for Morgan Monroe. Been a long road back to the top step of the podium. Not just in the race, Scotty, but winning it. Exactly. And doing something she probably never thought she'd do ever again. 
There was a time, I'm sure, that it yeah. seemed pretty far away. Morgan Monroe, your winner. Kenzie Luker is second on the 17. Zaria Martins is third on the 08. Shasta LaRue, fourth on the 67. McKenna Hyatt, 81, is fifth. Anna Serena, that's Anna Banana, is sixth. Morgan Pillar in her first go around with us is seventh. Justine Marsh is eighth. Mia Reese is ninth. And Mariah Hummer on the 07, rounding out your field. We get to talk to these top three finishers down here on the podium. As soon as they get it sorted out, Morgan's trying to figure out where they need to go. You know, it's her first time. She doesn't know no. exactly where to go. There comes Andrew Luker to help her hit, help his wife right there. Meet her on the podium. Yep, this is different. They got to point them into the bike stands that are there waiting. Those bikes are heavy and huge. Yeah, they are. <laughs> She's got some pink on her gas tank. Her leathers were always a pink and a blue. They were always really pretty when she was racing as a youngster coming up, and she went pro. Made her first pro main event at the Charlotte Half Mile. Made her second one up in New York. And was injured later on that season, but it's good to see her back on top of the box. And <laughs> you can see how heavy yeah, those bikes are right push, there. Yeah. Two races left for us here tonight. Jen Lewis there to help. That's Johnny Lewis's sister who helps coordinate this program. She is the team manager. Yeah. Kind of taking over where Bree uh, left yeah. off and went to a different job. There we go. Uh, big, big P is going to get some work. Is he? He's, he's going to get a workout, he's too. He's struggling lifting that bike up. Yeah. Morgan. Yeah. Good job, Morgan. Morgan celebrate. Here's your VP checkered flag. And Kristen, take it away. I know you got a happy winner there. Yeah, I've got Morgan Monroe, who's still getting her helmet off here, just soaking it all up and enjoying this moment. Morgan, you were able to create distance upon the rest of the field. I could tell that you were pushing out there. What made you feel so confident in the bike and so confident here at the track? Oh, man, this Royal Enfield bike handles so well. I'm having so much fun riding it. Um, it just feels great. The power is so even and smooth, and I've just been having such a good time today. It just feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> All smiles down here for Morgan Monroe. Congratulations, taking the first win of the season. Congrats, girl. I mean, all the emotion that's got to be flown through her right now. She's so happy just to be back at the racetrack and then taking the win in her first go out here on the Royal Enfield Bill Train Race. You can see how happy all three of them are on that victory podium.